Hey viewers, welcome to the episode four of uh, Through the Lens of a Civil Engineer, and this is a talk show conducted by uh, Pro Trainee, uh, where various civil engineers like share their insights about their journey as a civil engineer. And I'm Apurva, and I'm your host for the day. And today our guest is Mr. Anurag Yadav, who is currently a project manager at uh, Swapna Srishti Interior Projects LLP. Welcome, Mr. Anurag. Thank you. So I would like to start off with what made you feel interested in civil engineering and how did you start your career as a civil engineer? Basically, uh, my job, I wanted to be a civil engineer because I think whatever structure we made uh, remains year after year. Means if you construct a building itself, like the monument, all the if you see all the uh, seven wonders of the world, they, uh, these are civil engineering marvels actually. So they stay means ages after ages, and we come to know about the civilization of that era. So I started my civil engineering journey uh, through my internship only. Uh, I got my internship in uh, Gomti River first, and uh, they are the company was impressed with me and as soon as I passed out of my college, they offered me a PPO basically uh, to join them. Okay, so and what are the like advantages you had back then when you started as a civil engineer and what do you think has improved now? Like what's something you have missed that time and to, uh, like budding engineers today have an advantage of that? Um, most of the engineer we that time did not have did not know there are uh, other career paths apart from being a civil site engineer or going to a typical uh, bridge or a construction for a road or a building so now people are going into valuation field they are into qs also they are uh, doing bim so uh, there are a lot more career options as compared to uh, what we had like four years or five years old. Okay. And and what is those what are these unique skills which has made you a successful civil engineer? And someone uh, like aspiring to become should pursue those. Uh, one of the most important thing is to be on site and you should know your basics. And if you are on site, you should be observant of the things. What are you seeing actually? And what right. things are not means there should be a SOP, means you should uh, already have some guidelines in hand. What are you going to check? You should be prepared before you visit a site. And you should have, uh, like, uh, they should have proper plan. So basically, uh, a civil engineer, what he has to, they have to take care of the quality. The, the project should be completed uh, within a stipulated time and uh, budget. And the, uh, the workmanship also be, should be there. And uh, last but not the least, safety should also be taken in uh, main uh, Most of the time, small sites, uh, they do not take safety as such. And uh, uh, accident happens. And the loss of life is a regulation. And like, what are some of the resources you missed during your, uh, as a student during your civil engineering life? Uh, most uh, means uh, during our time, uh, we had most of the resources. It's not like I have passed through means it has been a decade. So uh, we all had resources, but the means the like Primavera, MSP, the kind of training now we are getting and compared to the that time so we are able to use those uh, resources more effective, uh, effectively as compared to that time so and what are some of the best internships you think today uh, the civil engineers should do uh, today internship uh, they should uh, means we focus uh, more on the managerial aspect of the project so they should take internship in project planning, QS, uh, rather than going on site because they will eventually learn uh, going on the site. All right. And uh, today, you know, in the internet world, 
uh, how can someone like yes. use the internet positively to grow their in their career uh, internship like uh, uh, there are many certifications which give you a ahead from your opponent see if like we uh, did from rics so when i introduce myself to someone i have the advantage of rics similarly if you have a prince 2 certification or a pmp if you are a pmp certified professional so obviously you have a advantage over them secondly the new technologies like use of uh, bim revit and uh, the qs also can take directly quantities using navis work manage so they can extract quantities directly and the, the efforts are really less compared to means manual we you are doing creating excellent then taking out the quantities of the or doing with a cad or to cad drone right and uh, like what is your you of the current educational system and how do you think it should improve uh, i think uh, uh, if you take the graduation level uh, studies so it is uh, very vast so we st- study tunnel irrigation environment and we do not actually the most of the jobs are into building high rise so there are that subject is given lesser importance so uh, they should also give importance to uh, uh, these su- subject like testing concreting um, reading drawings most of the freshers coming on the sites they do not really know how to read drawings how to means get the layout means marking then site marking basic things should be there and uh, how what do you think is the scope for civil engineers in our country uh like india is a, still a developing nation and lots of work are going on in the infrastructure field we are building uh, great statues recently we were uh, build the statue of unity so uh, we uh, have built a tunnel uh, atal tunnel so uh, bullet train is there so uh, there are there is lot of scope uh, provided that you have the required skill to fulfill right. that right and uh, after the covid pandemic you think uh, do you think the scope has changed or anything like that or has it improved or has it gone down and how can it improve it, it has affected uh, means lot of project initially but okay. if you see uh, after once the lockdown was uh, Uh, taken off so first of all construction activities uh, were given priority so infrastructure work dam work were means given first priority because construction uh, sector contributes a lot to our gdp so that is why uh, there there is opportunity again once the market has opened up so opportunity opportunities are there if you ch- check the linkedin profile might the pay packages have reduced but opportunities are and what would be your piece of advice to the young uh, civil engineers or budding civil engineers uh, to the fresher they should not means uh, they should be ready to work hard and learn more because uh, the starting stage that is 3 to 5 years they can learn as much as they can and they do not have right. burden like after 5 or 6 years they would have burden to means get married or get settled in a life so right. during the initial stages they can learn go on to a new city or means to a remote location they can work there gain knowledge and once they have enough means gain a knowledge they can always sharpen their skills to do better right so yeah practical knowledge and experience yes. does affect lot in the career yes. growth of career and so what are your like favorite moments from your civil engineering days like uh, even now uh, like i was my first project was gomti river front 
So okay. now when I go to Lucknow and I stand there and see the river front, it kind of gives me a proud moment that I was a part of the project and I right. had initiated or done this. So I, when I go with my friends, I keep telling them that this is what I did. Yeah, this is what I did. So that is a proud moment. It really feels proud to do something for the yes. country. Right. And it, it it would remain like for next two or three hundred years. It's not right. going to change. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to change. Yeah, right. And apart from civil engineering, what are you really passionate about? Uh, I am passionate about traveling. So, like, I am now into a uh, interior industry. So I get to travel a lot also. So for for one month, I am in like. i am in varanasi right now tomorrow i have to go from varanasi to a different site to take my job and on 25th i would be in udaipur for taking a presentation so means i get to travel a lot and i get paid for it uh so okay and uh, what do you think you would be if you weren't a civil engineer i think i would have been a doctor doctor <laughs> <laughs> that's nice <laughs> all right then i think it was great talking to you we really had some uh, amazing interaction and i'm thanking you on behalf of the team pro trainee and i hope all the civil engineers who are watching this video have yes. gained some insights and can improve on their career and cool. thank you for being with us and thanks a lot for having me Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and Pro Trainee is also providing courses where you know civil engineers can upskill and be industry yeah. ready to be hired. So, and all our webs, yeah, yeah, I saw the website and means would they these courses would really help the new guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, and. thanks viewers for watching the video and if you have liked the video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to pro trainee and our social media links and websites are given in the description box please take a look thank you